Check out this cool western film set inside Park City Museum at Sundance Film Festival 2023. Kitty is directing the actors to do some cool tricks in front of our Canon R5C cinema camera with the dual fisheye lens in 3D VR 180. Don't forget to look around and watch this directly on your VR headset like the Meta Quest. In this VR tour of the Park City original ski lift and the underground gel shell, we will showcase to you the latest Canon cinema cameras and lenses, including the camera that can see darkness while the human eyes cannot. If you like filmmaking gears and want to learn how the Canon technologies can help Sundancer to win every year, this is the immersive video for you. Maybe I can even give you some ideas to make your next independent film in Virtual Reality 180. Let's start the tour. Hey everybody, I'm Peter with Canon USA and we're here at Sundance 2023 at the Park City Museum. We have a few installations here. We've got some cameras set up, so let's take a look. Over here, C70. This is one of our uh, top selling cameras. This camera is, ex is extremely versatile. It also has the same sensor that you have in the C300 Mark III. Both of these cameras mix well together. We also have one of our Canon reference displays, our 4K HDR reference displays. And the 18 to 80, this is a compact servo lens. This is a lens that's an EF mount. The C70 is an RF mount, so we're using one of our Canon EF to RF adapters on this setup here. On our C300 Mark III, we have our 17 to 120. This is a workhorse lens. This lens works everywhere. This is one of our Cine servo lenses. And when we go downstairs, we're gonna show you a new lens that we have that's a 15 to 120. You ready? Let's take a walk. Down here in the basement of the museum, inside one of the original underground ski lifts, we have the C300 Mark III PL. This mount is interchangeable. You can change the EF to PL mount with four screws easily done and we have a Sumeray 35 Prime on here. You know, we have our lovely ladies inside this rail car so you can check it out, you can see the bokeh, you can see all the nice signature elements that the Sumeray brings to your shots. And here we have the C70 with a 0.71 adapter and what this is, this is basically a speed booster that's going to give you an extra stop of light onto your sensor it's an RF to EF mount, and it also gives you that full frame field of view on the Super 35 sensor that's inside the C70. So this 8 to 15 lens right here is going to give you that same field of view that you would have on any of our full frame cameras like the R5, the R6, or the C500 Mark II. And right here is the ME20. This is a camera that shoots up to four and a half million ISO. So I can't see anything with my eyes in here. I don't know if you can or not, but I know this camera can definitely look into the dark. We can open all the way up. This camera sees in the dark. And this is our C500 Mark II. This is our full frame cinema camera. And attached to it is our new 15 to 120. This is two millimeters wider than our 17 to 120, has 8K resolve, and it has a drop in 1.5 extender to cover that full frame sensor when you need it. So now you see the vignette on the side. And now, full frame coverage. And right here, we have the R5C with one of our CNE primes on the Ronin RS3 Pro. Creative Studio. Creative Studio. I'm so excited to be here. We love Canon, and I'm so excited to learn about what you guys have set up at Sundance. <laughs> we come here every year. It's so awesome. This is our 13th uh, year sponsoring Sundance. Wow. We love to come here and engage with the filmmakers. So what we do is we set up our whole touch and try area. We bring all of our professional products, all of our video products, from our mirrorless cameras all the way up through our Cinema EOS line. 
and give all the filmmakers an opportunity to test, demo, ask questions, interact with us, our pro reps, got a little artificial smoke behind us right now. Um, and really we're here to meet the filmmakers. So we want to give them the opportunity to really uh, play with our gear, give us the opportunity to meet them, understand their work, hear about their projects, and then see how we can uh, make better products so that they are able to do what they do best, their craft and their art. Yeah, so it all comes down to having really great hardware to create an impactful story uh, for the artist. I, I love the stations that you have set up with the interactive actors yep. and all of that with the cameras and the lenses, cinematic lenses. It's beautiful oh. here with the smoke, the spray smoke <laughs> in the background. That's so hilarious. I love it. Yeah, well, you know, we want to give everybody a, a little Park City feel, but also, you know, a real life, real world uh, opportunities to demo. So we have our 4K reference monitors where you can uh, really see what's coming out of the camera. You know, we have lighting set up, we have models, sets, all nicely professionally lit, thanks to Rotolite, and uh, just a whole host of different cameras and lenses to shoot from. C70, R5C, C300 Mark III, C500 Mark II. We've even gone brought this year our PTZ cameras, which have just been really great for remote productions. And we've set, got those set up in the other rooms recording our, our panels. We have some here to demo, but we put our X300 on the roof of the uh, museum. Really? And with the zoom on that camera, you can go all the way over to the ski slopes and zoom in on our skiers. You can check up and down Main Street. It's been a lot of fun. People have enjoyed playing with that. <laughs> You're creeping on people uh, across the street. <laughs> Where are they drinking? Like, <laughs> no, that's great. I didn't even know there was a uh, camera up yeah. on the roof. Yeah, the it's uh, lens and all of that. exactly. Yeah, and you know we have the controls down here in the showroom, so you can play with it. And really, again, these are for production. Uh, you know, production quality PTZs. These aren't security cameras, so the 4K quality coming out, it's it's just stunning. And we have that again on our reference display to really appreciate it. Amazing. Well, this setup is really phenomenal. It's so much fun to walk around and look at all the cameras and touch the cameras. Aside from the traditional cinema yep. lenses and cameras and all of that, which I love and I have, I have the Canon 70D and nice. uh, the Canon R5C and the R5. Super Very cool. In love with the Canon product, but I'm really curious. What do you think of the Canon dual fisheye lens? Oh, I. I love it. I mean, honestly, the VR is like so cool, so emerging. When I when I have the headsets on and you be able to see like move around and kind of have that freedom to look wherever you want in a scene as things are going on, it's it's just it's a different experience. My children love it. Um, you know, it took a little bit of getting used to for me, but immediately I was like I could see the potential for it. But yeah, it's a very very innovative product. Um, I, when they were rolling it out and briefing us on it, we were all just sitting there like, oh my goodness, this is going to be so cool. And how do you foresee like filmmakers using this product? Oh, well, you know, that's actually a big question. We've been hearing and talking about that a lot with the people here, people at other events. And, you know, it's, it's so interesting, you know, VR, the tricky thing is where will your audience be looking? You know, with our, with our dual fisheye lens and 180 degree VR, you're at least giving them a, a limited field of view, but still the freedom to look around and interact. So for traditional cinematographers, it's a little bit easier for them to get into 180 degree VR for narrative storytelling yeah. versus 360, which is a very big challenge with lighting, acting, certainly all of the elements that would Bigger go into budget. it. So, yeah, <laughs> but the freedom of the, and, the, and the limitations of the 180 make it for a very cool opportunity for interactive storytelling. and. That's what's really, you know, it's it's new ground. It's a it's a pioneering opportunity for a lot of filmmakers to, to really figure out the best way to tell stories in 180 degree VR. Fantastic. Are you collaborating with any headset manufacturers um, in the industry? Uh, we've been talking to several. I mean, there's not, it, you know, not. We're more about the creative process and the actual capturing of the image. Uh, they're more about showing the image and platforms. And we want to we want to work collaboratively with them, but no, we, we're not working directly with any of them right now at this time. No problem. So I want to ask you: at yeah. Sundance this year, is there a filmmaker that's using the Canon product uh, that's represented at Sundance this year? Oh no, several. I mean, uh, there are uh, dozens of projects here at the festival that were shot on Canon products. Any that come to mind? Uh, Pretty Baby, the Brooke Shields story. Um, 
gee, put me on the spot a Sorry. little. No, it's okay. Uh, we had a whole list, and of course, we get our tickets as part of being a festival sponsor. So we've been handing them out to our staff, and they've been enjoying so many films that were shot again. I think, I believe, 20 Days in Maripool might have been another one. Um, so many good documentary projects, so many good narrative features and shorts uh, shot on Canon. And that's what, what we're also so proud to be a sponsor here because we actually hear in exactly what projects were shot on Canon. We're able to work with those filmmakers. Sometimes we feature them on our panels. Other times we might be putting out uh, little case study videos that we record here. So you're going to tune into Canon YouTube and see those uh, following the event. Yeah. helps them understand the tools so that way they can create their stories in yep. a seamless way and we really do that with the Canon product so thank you for having us no really our pleasure my pleasure thank you, you. We'll yep. talk soon. definitely <laughs>